Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again today. I wanted to talk a little bit about air pumps. I bought myself a new air pump. I've got this, which is a Nicru air pump, and it's a little bit different and a little bit special, and I'm quickly starting to think it's possibly the best one I've ever had. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about air pumps, but if you just want to get to the review and get to the comparison of this against any other ones, just go to this time code here. But air pumps in general, I think, are worth discussing because they're such an invaluable... Um, tool for the aquarium hobby. Generally they'll come in a few different categories. You get the big massive ones like I have in my fish room which run multiple tanks and people use them to run filtration. So they'll run sponge filters and things like that. Um, or you'll have your regular sized ones, something along the lines of this where they have one or two outlets and they might run one or two tanks. Sometimes they're adjustable. Um, but yeah, they're plugged into the mains, they're wired in, they run all the time. And again, they'll either run a sponge filter or they'll just run some ornamental stuff and they'll have an air stone attached to it. And as much as I will say ornamental, they're also providing some gas exchange. So they're keeping your aquarium healthy. If you don't have good circulation, air pumps can be a great way to add circulation into your tank because the bubbles will rise through the water and drag the water with it and keep the water moving. Bubbles popping at the surface will actually aid the gas exchange. Um, so it's not that you're pumping the oxygen into your aquarium with the pump, it's the fact that you're getting lots of surface agitation with the bubbles popping which are aiding the gas exchange and letting the CO2 out of the water and letting the oxygen into it. So, what I've looked for in air pumps before is obviously power. So if you are going to be running multiple tanks, you want something big and beefy that's going to do the job for you. If not, you're generally concerned on size or possibly um, how loud it is. So size might be something you don't want a big brick sitting at the side of your aquarium but if you've got it in a cabinet that can be fine. Um, if you've got it in a bedroom you don't want it to be loud. If you've got it in a living room you don't want it to be loud. So you, you'll generally be concerned about the amount of power it can put through which you usually measure in litres per minute and how quiet it is which is usually the vibrations of the things. So until recently my favourite air stone was this one. It's the one that you can attach to a USB. Um, in fact, it only comes with a USB. It can be plugged into the mains through the USB, through a plug, or it can be attached to a power bank, something like that. It's really light, it's really small, reasonably powerful. Not very powerful, but it did a job. It was also really portable. Um, and that's another reason you might want to look into your air stones. Because if you're buying fish or transporting fish for a long distance, or potentially in a power cut or some kind of situation where you need to keep fish in a bucket or a box or something, they don't have the proper filtration, you can drop an air stone in and that'll keep them going for a while. So that was really versatile, so you could use it in all those different situations. But it just kind of lacked some punch really. Um, it could drive a sponge filter but not very well. Um, it didn't draw much power but it also drew enough power that it would my power banks would run out overnight uh, if I left them running. So it was, it was okay, they weren't very durable I found, they would break after a while and they were quiet but not ultra quiet. So that had led me to try this thing when I found it. And so this is a Nicru air pump. You might know the brand Nicru if you're in the UK because they make a lot of the cheap lights. And for once, cheap isn't synonymous with rubbish um, because the lights that they make are really quite good. I've had some of them running for years and years and years. But this is an air pump. It doesn't look like an air pump, it looks like a little box. Um, but it is your standard air pump. It comes with the little rubberized pointed feet so as it'll be quiet on most surfaces. It comes with a belt clip so you can clip it onto the side of a bucket, I imagine, rather than carrying it around on your belt for whatever reason. Um, and it's just this one's just the single outlet one, but it also plugs into the mains. So in the box, you get your little plug, a UK plug for those of us in the UK, which is quite unusual for these things. But again, it is a USB, so you could, you could run this off a power bank if you wanted. Um, it comes with an air stone, it comes with the airline, it comes with a check valve, so it's, um, it, you've got that extra safety there. And it's quite small, small form factor. I mean, if you look at the comparison with the, what I would call a regular air pump, it's a little, it's roughly the same length, but it's a lot smaller in profile. Um, so you might think, what's the big whip, Graham? It's an air pump. All air pumps are very much of a muchness. Um, this will run off the mains. So it plugs in at the side here. And you can just have this as your regular air pump sitting in your cabinet or up above your tank or wherever you want it to be. And it will run away quite happily. 
The difference with this one is it actually has the, pat the battery and the power bank inside it. So if you were to suffer a power cut for whatever reason and take that out, it will continue to run without your intervention at all. And I think that's invaluable because too many times people have said they've lost tanks or they've lost fish because they've had a power cut in the middle of the night uh, and they had no power going. So they had some backup, but they would have to manually go in and, and sort it out. This, you don't have to do that. It will just keep running. In terms of function, as well as that automatic backup thing, it is you press it to turn on. It has three levels, so you can have low power, mid power, full power. It has a battery indicator on the front of it, but it also has this mode that if you know you're going to be using it in battery mode, so it's not plugged in, but it's on, as you can probably hear. It's only loud now because it's not got an, an airline attached to it. When it's got the airline attached to it, it really is silent. I'm um, really impressed with this. But it's also got a mode where you can press it um, and it'll pump for one, one minute on, two minutes off. And I've had this running full power overnight and it lost two bars. Um, so I imagine if you put it onto the, the mode button, it would run for days um, without needing a charge. Absolutely fantastic. So I think that could be invaluable. So in terms of features, it's got everything. It's ticked every box that I could possibly think of. So I think all that remains now is to go and test it against some of the other ones. So I've only had this for a few days now, so I can't really comment on any kind of longevity here, um, but really impressed with this so far. I will leave links down in the description to this so you can go and have a look for yourself and possibly buy it. It will be an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more money. So I'm going to run a quick comparison against um, some uh, other air pumps. I'm not going to run it against one of the USB air pumps. If I'm completely honest, because I can't find it. I did have three of the things, two of them broke, and one of them, I don't know where it is, but that kind of rules it out anyway, because uh, the longevity-wise, they, they weren't very good anyway. So we're going to run it against one of these, which is a Hydom air pump. Um, uh, this particular one I've had for, got to be at least five or six years. It's been running fine. And another of my favorites, which is the Interpet, these little uh, tiny ones that you can kind of stick onto the tanks and they run absolutely silent. So this is my favorite for silence, but rubbish with power. This is my favorite for um, longevity, resilience, um, maintenance, all those good things, cheapness as well. And this I'm hopeful is going to be all those things. So quiet, tick, um, powerful, tick, um, resilient ticks that last a long time even on battery and versatile tick because you can use it as your normal pump for your tank or you can use it as a travel pump or an emergency pump so it ticks all those boxes for me so let's see how it performs against them power wise what we're going to do is use a brand new air stone i'm going to use the same length of air line for all of them run them for a couple of minutes and then i'll show you the video with the three of them side by side and see for yourself what kind of power they've got um, both the Nycrew and the Hydom ones have variable elements, so you can ramp up the power, so I'll show you that as well. Whereas the Interpet one is just on or off. So let's go! So there we go, um, it's pretty conclusive that the Interpet one, which is this one here, was pretty pathetic in terms of power. The Hydom and the Nycrew one were fairly even. This is um, this is a three litre per minute on the going by the specs of it, whereas the Hydom one says it's two, two and a half, I think, yeah. Um, but this also runs at two and a half watts, whereas this runs at 1.7 watts, so it consumes less power. So it consumes less power, puts out more output, uh, and it's just so much more versatile. Uh, I think this is absolutely fantastic. And this was tested on the battery as well, rather than the mains. Um, generally when things run off the battery, they run a little bit less power. So couldn't ask for more than that. That's plenty of bubbles um, and almost silent. Brilliant. So I hope you found that somewhat useful. If you are in the market for an air pump, I will leave a link in the description. And if you have any questions or any issues or things you want to know, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you if I can. Um, yeah, just wanted to show off. I think I found a new favourite. So hopefully that was useful. Catch you in the next one. Remember all that gubbins, like, subscribe, share, comment, blah-de-blah-de-blah.
Bye.